Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about solving proportions, and we're going to solve each proportion. So if I was given this proportion here, 10 over 8 equals n over 10. Okay. First things first here, we want to cross multiply. Multiply the 8 by the n and 10 by the 10. So 10 times 10 over here, 10 times 10 equals 8 times n. Simplify that little bad boy a bit. 10 times 10 is 100 equals 8 times n. Now I need to divide by 8. So I divide by 8 to both sides. Leave me, what the heck is 8 into 100? Who knows? Let's do some long division here. 8 into 10 one time. 1 times 8 is 8. Boom. Going down here. 1 times uh, 10 minus 8 is 2. Bring down the 0. 8 goes into 20 2 times. 2 times 8 is 16. Uh, 16 uh, 20 minus 16 is 4. Let's bring down the decimal. Let's, 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 let's up this. Let's up this uh, long division to decimals here. Bring down the 0 here. 8 goes into 40. How many times? That's going to be 5 times, right? 5 times, 5 times 8 is 40. Fantastic. 40 minus 40 is 0. Looking good. And so we have n here on the right and 12.5 on the left. Let's rewrite this n coming first. n equals a 12.5. And that, folks, is my final answer. So let's recap. We're given 10 over 8 equals n over 10. We cross multiply that. 10 times 10 is 100. 8 times n is just 8n. And then I divided by 8 to both sides, leaving me with 100 divided by 8 equals n. 8 goes into 100, 12.5 times, shown lovely by our long division here. Given is 12.5 equals n. Let's write it nice and neat, put n coming first, giving me n equals 12.5, and that is our final answer.